So before we proceed a little bit about me, I'm currently in the final year of B.Tech at Jadavpur University. I have a gate rank of 150 in 2020. I'm currently placed at a top pharmaceutical company. I have four months of research experience at IIT Kharagpur and I also have a research paper which is under review. Hey guys, so I'm back with another video today and this video is especially for those who are uh, willing to do self-study for GATE. So today our topic will be uh, how to prepare notes for GATE. So I will uh, take you through my own notes and uh, give you some uh, points which you can focus on to prepare your notes. Okay. So let me take you to my own notes first and I'll come back to this uh, slide. So okay, so this is my own notes that I prepared for GATE. Now, the first point that I want you to take from here is that a particular format if you follow it will be very easy for you to revise it after like four or five months from now okay so that format is like you first write the concept in a very brief manner not in a very lengthy manner in a very brief manner so here I have written uh, the concept of efficiency and I have written the concept of uh, let's say up to here and just after writing a small concept up to that point I am directly jumping on and solving a question of gate okay so this format will be very helpful for you down the lane okay so uh, you know this one what I'm doing here I'm doing one more thing that you should notice here is that I am not writing the huge descriptions of each and everything right here okay I am just pointing out some diagrams and some formulae and I am referencing the page number over here. Now this will keep the length of my notes short and will also help me to uh, go to some books like this one uh, this reference is from Robert Trebal. I can directly go to Trebal from here if I face any difficulty but I am not adding it here because if my note is very if my notes are very long. Now what will happen is that down the line when I am done with like 7-8 subjects and I want to revise all those subjects together I will face a problem. I will think that it is a very tedious job that I have to cover all these subjects together because my notes are very thick and fat and I have to do it. So it will be mentally tedious. So I tend to keep my notes short. I tend to keep my uh, concepts in the notes very to the point. What I majorly focus on is solving as many questions as possible in the notes and that actually gives me uh, you know a better perspective and uh, it, it keeps my notes short. Okay so that was one uh, as soon as I, as I completed this question I went to the next concept and I went to the next problem after that okay and the, this is a basic format that if you follow it will be helpful. Uh, concept question uh, concept questions and like that yeah okay another one is the use of tables now some of the topics like for example chemical engineering thermodynamics has lot of formulae so what I did was after making a notes after making a detailed note in uh, this manner in the above manner that I just told you at the end of the chapter I made a few tables now one of these tables is like this from my own notes so this is one of these tables okay so property residual property and excess property so this is one of this is one this is one example of how it can be uh, made uh, you know things can be made simpler and as soon as you re when you revise as soon as you see this table everything will be recapitulated in your mind and you will be remembering all the all the concepts that you forgot so uh, this is very helpful try to make as many tables as possible uh, wherever you have lot of formulae similar thing i did with maths you see i actually made a table uh, uh, comprising two pages right so i uh, made a table like this so that that too i made horizontally so this is from the chapter matrices this is in every uh, almost every uh, engineering branch engineering mathematics so uh, you see these chapters in mathematics have lot of formulae so I made uh, this type of uh, notes and it really helped me okay 
so try to make as many tables and flow charts and you know uh, you know diagrams as possible in your notes try to avoid writing long paragraphs okay another point is wherever an important concept comes i always star mark you know put a star mark some some people actually put the uh, highlighters and what not but uh, a star was a, enough for me okay so uh, that was uh, this is another important point that uh, you should keep in mind whether where, wherever you see an important concept or an important uh, question that was tricky always try to write it down and star mark it okay so uh, this was uh, here now let's go to the slide i, I want to talk about a few other points actually now i already talked about uh, these points tables flow sheets and diagrams now try to uh, include as many repeated questions and new problem especially new problems from standard books because see, repeated questions can also be uh, looked upon uh, from your websites like unitoperation.com or any uh, past year uh, websites right however uh, the repeated questions of gate should also be included but i would encourage you to in try to include some new problems from standard textbooks okay so that will be really helpful for you so what you do is as soon as you are writing a concept like suppose you are writing a concept up to here now you can write it up to two pages and then do a problem also let's but this is just for a demonstration so let's say you write it write a problem in the page write a concept in the page till here this is the concept okay some formula and some you know definitions and what not now right here you go to unitoperation.com or any past year uh, question bank and see find out at least from the last 10 or 15 years 10 or 15 years you know where the question there there will be many question but find out that question which is related to this topic and take that question and add it here to your notes so this is your this is your notes okay this is your notes so from that question bank you add that question to your notes that particular concept only okay and you proceed accordingly you, know, you make more notes uh, you know you proceed now always add blank pages at the end of the notes because what happens is that now uh, at this stage some of the students they do not uh, realize their uh, you know their deficiencies and uh, down the line when you will be uh, you know solving uh, from uh, the test series and and all that so what will happen is that you will actually face some issues you know you, you cannot solve this question some that question so those are all the deficiencies and to overcome those deficiencies what you should do is that take those questions from the test series that you were not able to solve and add it to those blank pages at the end of the notes so that way you are already making uh, notes of all the previous years and new questions you are also getting to add the uh, unknown questions that you just came across in the test series so Uh, i would suggest you to keep around 5 to 6 pages blank at the end of each um chapter okay uh, at the end of each topic so that way you can make a wholesome notes okay now these are things that you have to should include now what you should not include is lengthy derivation not derivations let me cl uh, clarify derivations are important you should know how a formula came into existence however in gate it is you should not include it in your notes rather what i would suggest as i just showed you wherever you are writing a concept try to keep it short but add a little reference over here to the page number in the book that way you can always go back to the book and look at the page number but don't add it to your notes it will make it lengthy and it will make you it, it will make uh, it tedious to revise it again and again okay so try to avoid lengthy derivations so uh, that's all for now like share and subscribe press the bell icon for updates i will see you in another video thank you